I like all these little threads, so I want to keep those intact. And then I'm going to use this darker one, and I'm just going to add a few rows of little stitches. I think, yeah, maybe about an inch of stitches. So I will put some music on and start stitching. And this part, you could do the entire piece all stitched, which might be kind of pretty. So I encourage you to just take your time as you create this piece and bring in elements that are important to you, that have meaning to you. And as you're, as you're, if you're doing the stitching part, you know, maybe think about, you know, all the people who are in your life that maybe you can't see right now and how important they are. So we're kind of weaving them into this piece and my family is in Austin, Texas. My mom, my dad, my sister and her husband and my niece and nephews and so they're all there and you know we'll we'll FaceTime my mom and she starts crying and we're all crying because <laughs> I want to be with her because she's fear my mom is 84 and um, she and my dad aren't married anymore and but they live fairly close to one another and so she's all alone and you know it's really hard for her and she's like everything is so boring it's so boring I don't want to watch the news and I've read all my books and so we put a care package together for her. I put some books and Olivia wrote her a note and gave her some of her um, Easter candy, which I thought was very sweet and sent it to her. And she was very excited to get her little care package. So it's all very emotional. Like when you can't be with the people you, you love, you want to just hug them. So anyway, this what I'm thinking about when I am doing this all these little stitches so I will stop babbling on and I will put some pretty music on and I want you just to take your time and enjoy this part of the process because I think it's what will make your piece very beautiful how you choose to do it and I'm very excited to see how you do it because I think you could make well, an entire series um, based on this idea of connecting with the people and having a little story in your artwork because then it just becomes so much more powerful and important when you pour your emotions into it.
Okay. So, I think that Let's see if I need any. Oh, that's pretty good. So it makes a little frame. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to put a little glue down and. Just put a little back here and see how that works. On these edges. You could stitch this entire thing, but I decided just to do the frame. It could be kind of cool with it, all the stitching. Close. So now I'm going to put just, there's my little sheet, I'm not going to get anything on that. could use a little piece of wax paper too. I have this here, I may still need it for some gesso. I don't want to get any of this on the front of my drawing. I think this glue also works well with these different types of materials. I probably will put it underneath a, wait, wait, put some tissue paper on top of it. I mean some wax paper, tracing paper on top of it and then press it a little bit. All right.
this really delicate paper. I'm trying to be very careful. I love, I love how soft it is. is add a little bit of just some white gesso to soften some of these edges here before I add the last piece. So I'm going to add a little bit here. So I'm going to use this round brush here. Pink, this Caribbean pink paint. So I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit. Some of the fibers. Glue it down. Okay, I just tacked it at the two ends. I didn't want it too heavy with the glue. I wanted to have that kind of fragile layer on top here. And then I am going to add the gold, but I want to make sure my hands are really clean before I do the gold. And I may put a little touch elsewhere. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Okay, so I will, I'm going to use a little bit of this iridescent gold, not much. I have some left in there. A 
little bit up at the top here. I don't need much, so don't feel that you have to get this. It's a really beautiful gold. Um, you could use like a gold marker as well. So I'm just going to, this is my idea. I thought about this and I visualized myself doing it. So I'm just gonna bring my, put some on my finger so that I can just do a little mark across. Okay, so I think it's done. So if you do this on a vintage book cover, what I was thinking about doing is putting it in an eight by 10 frame where I would just mount it with the yes glue, put the glue behind here on, the, on a black mat and then mount it and then frame it. I think it'll be just fine. I think I'm going to just put a few marks through here, kind of connect it all a little bit. So I hope that you enjoyed that and I'm excited to see your collages because I think every one will be completely different and the intentions will all be very beautiful. So thank you so much for joining me on this and I look forward to seeing your work.